In today's episode of Surf Fishing 101, we're going to look at one of the most daunting challenges that faces all new surf casters, and that is fishing at night. When I started fishing, I fished primarily in the daytime, I fished primarily with bait, and eventually I gravitated to fishing with lures and fishing with night and using a wetsuit and swimming to the rocks, all that other happy stuff. But in the beginning, it was really, really hard to get used to fishing in the dark. Not only are you having trebles swinging around you in the darkness and you're trying to change the plug and the surf is coming, the waves are trying to knock you down, you're trying to unhook the fish, you got a flashlight in your mouth. A million of these things can go wrong and obviously it's very uncomfortable. Uh, we taped this segment at night with use of infrared uh, camera. I can't really, the, the, the segment that I'm about to show you, I can't really see anything because the the, uh, the infrared camera, the, the light is so tiny that it doesn't emit any light. So, although you're going to see me and I look like I'm in a perfect light, I can't see anything. I'm in total darkness on a new moon. Uh, and we'll illustrate this by shutting off the IR lenses so you can see how dark it is. But I wanted to show you two things. First of all, the use of these tactical angler clips or any other product similar by other brands. And also, um, casting at night and being able to put line on the roller while you're casting. One of the most difficult things for a new caster is, is when you fish at nighttime, you make a cast and because it's dark, you don't know where your line is. And many new surf casts, especially using a bailless reel, they're gonna look for line and gonna try to put it on and they waste so much time trying to get the line on the roller and they don't know if they cast it. Plus you don't know where your caster, it's dark. So two things that could probably alleviate, um, alleviate your headaches by using the tactical angler clips or any other type paper clip type brand. And um, also how to put your line on a roller. I'll show you in a pinch darkness how I can change the lures, how I can cast without ever having to put a light on. I'm standing on a beach in a complete darkness. It might not appear to you that I'm complete darkness, but that's only because we're using the infrared lens. I'm gonna have my cameraman shut it off so you can see what I can see. Basically nothing, I'm in pinch darkness. So we'll put the light back on. The light is really, really tiny, so it doesn't really affect what I see. Um, but I want to show you how easy it is to change the plugs in the dark without you know, a light or anything else. I know this takes a little bit of experience and the more years you're doing this, the easier it will get. But like I said, it's dark. I can't see anything without the light. I can basically just touch this clip. And these clips, that this is tactical angler clip. I can feel it or any other clip. Um, they make it easy to change the plug. I can change the plug without looking in complete darkness. Open my bag, grab another plug stick this guy in and just by feeling obviously I can't see anything I can put this plug on wow this usually doesn't happen but here you go the plug is on the other thing is a lot of guys have issues casting in the dark because they don't know where the line is they cast then they're looking for a line I'll show you how easy that is too again it comes with experience but you line up your cast and you cast just like a daytime. You stick your finger, if you're using manual bail, and you're in, and you're fishing. That's it, simple as that. I know it's dark, I know you can't see anything. And again, I'm gonna have my cameraman shut off the thing just so you can see how dark it is. There's really no ambient light here. Uh, but you don't need a flashlight, or God forbid, like some of those guys that have flashlights on their head the whole night long while they fish. Uh, I'll make another cast just to illustrate the point. Um, start is hooked up a little bit. There's some hooks snagged around. Again, even this, you know, the hooks are snagged around the leaders. You can feel around it and open it. You're ready to go. You don't need to put a light on for every darn thing. You make a cast, you stick your finger out, you grab your line, and you work in your plug. And that's it. Simple as that. Just uh, little things that'll take you a little time when you're starting up in a sport, but don't be intimidated. This really becomes a second nature, and it's something that 
you know, you're not going to even think about it after a few months of doing it. So just keep doing it and uh, you'll be fine.